What's up, YouTube? Herschel here again. I'm doing a, another solo video today. Um, actually, I think I'm going to do this whole playthrough solo. Because, you know, these games usually have a lot of text and stuff. and I'd like to read a little bit of it, you know. It, 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 it just wouldn't be the same. I don't think it would be as interesting to watch with a bunch of people talking in the background. Um, but... Yeah, I decided I'd go ahead and do uh, Skyward Sword HD. If you watched my Part 2 7 Days playthrough, I mentioned that I was thinking about either doing Twilight Princess HD or Skyward Sword HD. I decided on Skyward Sword mainly because it has been much longer since I have even seen anything on this game. Like, I played it when it came out for the Wii, but I think that was like the last time I played it as I beat the game. Um, we're just going to do the basic playthrough name. Nothing crazy. But here we go. Wow, this game looks really good in HD. I was watching a bunch of comparisons and the difference is crazy. Like graphically, you don't notice it when you're a kid, you know? Cause I was like, I think 11 when this came out. But man, the difference is staggering, dude. I also heard they cut down the text a lot too for like fine stuff which I do remember that being very annoying <laughs> Rising, the time has come for you to awaken you are fated to have a hand in a great destiny and it will soon find you Time has come for you to awaken. Link. <laughs> oh, okay. This is going to be pretty much like a brand new game for me because it's been so long. You know, tiny child mush brain can't really remember stuff too great. So, I've also been trying not to watch anything on it in preparation for this, so I just don't spoil myself. So, let's see how it goes, man. I'm going to try to beat this game start to finish and get as much stuff as I, I'm out going to go out of the way for. Hey, sleepyhead. I know how much you like to sleep in, so I'm guessing this lair will be your alarm clock this morning. Did I guess right? Rise and shine, Link. Today's the wing ceremony. You promised to meet me before it starts. Remember? You better not keep me waiting. Zelda. <laughs> very aggressive. Very demanding. <laughs> right, what did they say? It's like, uh, yeah, L? Gotta hold L to free cam. Ooh, the 
camera feels very weird. But this game was built on motion controls first. There's like a slight delay to it. Probably doesn't matter um, for most people. But like I play a lot of fighting games so I can like really feel out of these differences. Oh yeah, another big thing about this game is I forgot. So in the Wii version, when you save and quit, every time you pick up like a blue rupee or something, it's going to give you this message. And now, it doesn't do that. You get it the first time and that's it. So that's huge, man. Uh, holding L to move the camera and stuff doesn't feel too bad. Oh, by the way, I am playing this game on, um button controls i'm not going to be using motion controls just because it's you know i i'm not a huge fan of uh motion controls so Bruce's room yeah. morning link so today's the wing ceremony are you ready all i'm saying is everyone else is out practicing at the plaza but you seem pretty relaxed about the whole thing of course, that crimson loft wing of yours is something special. I'd feel pretty confident riding him, too. Peculiar. My bird won the last ceremony, but even I don't think he could beat that red terror of yours. Of course, a bird's true speed in a race always comes down to the skill of the rider. I'm something of a bird researcher around here, so, you know. If you ever find yourself in need of some bird expertise, come see old Pippet. Pippet. That probably sounded horrible on the mic because I don't have a pop filter, so forgive me. Uh, B to run. Let me look at the controls if they have it real quick. Do they have it? Can I look? Maybe not. Uh, so this is all the collectibles and stuff. Right, so... I do remember in Twilight Princess you can like collect bugs and stuff. I guess that carried over to this game. And this is also... Like other stuff, I guess. This looks like quest items. Uh, got my wallet. I don't remember what any of this stuff is. I know this is the item wheel. Don't know what this stuff is. Excuse me. I had to cough there. Um. All right. Well. All right. We need to go to the loft wing ceremony. So let's do that. So, hey, Link. If you're heading over to the plaza, the quickest way is out the door on the ground floor. The exit on the top floor is still locked, so you obviously can't get out there. What's taking the lunch lady? What? What's taking the lunch lady so long? I'm going to have a word with her later. Shake my head, bro. I'm trying to break into everyone's rooms. Ledge. Who is this peculiar fellow? Fledge. Good morning, Link. Today's the big wing ceremony, right? I wanted to fly too, but I... I didn't make the cut, so I'm stuck back here at the academy. Plus, I've got to move these barrels over to the kitchen. I was hoping to at least be able to cheer you on, Link, but I guess that's the way it goes. Go out there and wow them, buddy. Nice. Can I throw these? Maybe. Oh. I see. <clears throat> I am going to have to... <clears throat> oh, my throat's still a little bit stopped up. Uh, I am going to have to get used to holding L free cam. I'm so used to just, like, freely doing it, but the way they have it set up in this game is that, um... The right stick is assigned to like the what the motion controls would have been. I really love like the filter they put on stuff in the background that makes it kind of look like a painting. Looks really good. Sure, let's see. New adventure. Yes, sir. Save. This was also the first game with stamina in it. So, 
this is the introduction. Hey, Link, up here. Poor Will, huh? Yo. Good morning to you, Link. Today's finally the day of the long-awaited wing ceremony. Are you are you feeling ready? Oh, I just remembered. There's something I'd like to ask you about. Target me, and we can have a quick chat. Breaking the fourth wall a little bit. Ooh. Excellent. Always remember, you can target someone to talk to them easily. And even when there isn't anything to target, it's a convenient way to quickly face your view forward. Oh, but it's a little silly to carry on a conversation from this distance. Why don't you come join me up here? You should be able to climb up if you dash up to the top of that wooden box, don't you think? Then you can make that jump fairly easily. Try climbing up here. Okay. I don't remember. I don't think you could do that like that in Breath of the Wild, right? <laughs> no, I don't think so. I think you just climb in that game. Yo. So what are you up to? Rushing to get some last minute bird riding practice in this morning, Link? Oh, you have someone to meet? Ah, Zelda's waiting for you, is she? Perfect timing then. You see, Zelda's father, Headmaster Gapora, has a pet named Mia, and, well, she's scampered off again. Look! Over there. Do you see her? Yeah. The headmaster is so busy working with Zelda preparing for the ceremony. I thought that maybe I should feed her, but the ceremony is about to start and I just put on a fresh set of clothes and, well, you see, will you help me out and go retrieve Mia for me? Sure thing. Ooh. Fantastic. So you'll do it. I know you're in a hurry, so I really appreciate your taking the time to help. You should be able to climb up somewhere over there. If you hang off that ledge there, you can climb onto the roof from the other side. I'm terribly sorry, but I know you're quite the climber. I really do appreciate it. Okay. Well, I'm gonna just look around real quick first. I mean, no, I mean, me, me will be alright, right? Alright, that door is supposed to be locked. Can I jump on this? You said I can climb on that, right? Oh, I need to... I see. Okay. Uh, what is that? That looks a little funny. Grapple hook stuff. Alright, Mia, I got you. <laughs> Cute little thing. Alright. Nice work. You brought her back safe and sound. Sorry for troubling you, Fist. I know you're busy, Link. I suppose I should feed Mia now. Please tell the headmaster that we found his pet. He should be up by the statue of the goddess. <clears throat> I believe Zelda is there with him, so you should hurry along. Oh, yes. I should give you a reward. It's not much. But please take this. Or don't tell the others. Nice. Um. Let's go down here. What's happening down here? Sparring hall? Locked. Okay. Mm, yeah, that gate's closed. I guess I have to go to up here. Yeah. I can't remember. Nah, hero hero mode's locked, right? Yeah, it's locked from the start. That sucks. When I do a uh, Twilight Princess HD, which I'll probably do after I play this game, um. I'm going to run in hero mode. I was just trying it out earlier. Well, not earlier, but like yesterday, just testing out, seeing if everything looked good. And uh, I saw that it, you can do hero mode right from the start, so that's going to be fun. Ooh. 
Morning, Link. How's life? Did you manage to get even a wink of sleep last night? Figured you might have been tossing and turning all night thinking about the big ceremony today. What am I doing? Oh, just fixing this gate here. It's been squeaky lately and we can't have that on the day of the ceremony. Hey, you haven't already forgotten to send your prayers to the goddess this morning, have you? Just face the bird statue over there and say a short prayer to save your progress. As you know, those bird statues are all over Skyloft. It's about time you get in the habit of stopping at a statue every time you run by one. <laughs> a prayer in time saves not, if you know what I'm saying. A very peculiar looking individual, for sure. I like how all the stamina through... They, they, they really did place the stamina fruit in like pretty smart spots. Like you never run out if you follow like all the stamina fruit. You can just like sprint from one side of the map to the other. Hey, good morning, Link. I'm glad to see my loft wing got you out of bed. I was pretty sure you'd sleep in and forget to meet me this morning. <laughs> but look at this instrument, and look at this outfit. They're mine to use today in the ceremony, since I'll be playing the role of the goddess. Aren't they beautiful? Especially this instrument. Tell me it's just like the one the goddess... They tell me it's just like the one the goddess was said to have in the legends. It sounds gorgeous, too. I asked father about it, and he said it's called a harp. <laughs> and look at these clubs. I made this wrap myself, and we get to use it in today's ceremony. Between the harp and this outfit, I'm going to make a great goddess today. I got you up early this morning because I wanted you to be the first to see me like this, Link. Very cute, very cute. <laughs> nice costume, uh. Nah, we ain't gonna be a dickhead. Not this run. <laughs> I think so too. But it's nice to, to know you agree. Thanks, Link. Ah, there you are, Zelda. Are you all prepared for today's ceremony? Oh, hello, Father. Ah, Link, you're here too. Outstanding. It's encouraging to see you up so early, given your capacity for sleep. No doubt today's ceremony had you too excited to close your eyes for once. If you win today's ceremonial race, you'll get to participate in the po post-race ritual with Zelda, so give it your best out there. Yes, about that. Father, I don't know if he can do it. Recently, Link hasn't been practicing much at all for the ceremony. And even when he's out riding his loft wing, he's just lazily gliding around, probably daydreaming. I don't know what he's thinking. He's going to have to be in perfect control of his bird to win today. No need to worry yourself, Zelda. Though you may have a point, today's wing ceremony tests the skill of the rider as well as his bond to his bird. Victory will not come easily. Hmm. And, as you pointed out, I haven't seen him practicing as hard as some of the other students. But you've known him since you were both very little. You should know better than to fret about him. You see, Link and his Loftwing share a special connection. I've never seen anything quite like it. As you know, each of us in Skyloft is but one half of a pair. We are only made whole by the other Loftwings, the guardian birds that the goddess bestows upon each of us as a symbol of her divine protection. When we are young, every one of us meets our Loftwing under the great statue of the goddess. It's quite a big moment, as I'm sure you'll you recall. 
Ah, but the first meeting between Link and his Loftwing was extraordinary. The bird that came to him was a crimson Loftwing. It is a breed so rare we were sure for some time that it had vanished from the line. Yes, and the boy and his bird seemed to share a profound connection from the moment they met. Do you recall when Link and that Loftwing of his first met? What a sight! The little boy just hopped on, hopped up on that bird and gracefully flew away without even a moment of instruction. They were meant for each other. And judging by how jealous you were that day, I'd say the friendship he shared with his bird didn't go unnoticed by you, my dear. Ah, but who can blame you? I'm sure you weren't the only one envious of the powerful bond shared by Link and his bird. Anyone who was a part of something special was bound to catch some nasty looks sooner or later. Ho ho. <laughs> this contest is nothing to laugh at, Father. This ceremony is part of the final test for those training to become Knights of Skyloft. If Link doesn't fly fast enough during the race, what if Link messes up his big chance? What if he's not allowed to become a knight? Calm down, my dear. It will be fine. Honestly, it's almost as though you became a become a completely different person when you worry about Link. Hey! Listen, Link, you better fly your heart out today. At the very least, you need to squeeze in a little practice time before the race. <sighs> Come on, you'll thank me later. Oh yeah, we just gonna shove him off the bridge? Here we are. Go on now. Jump off the edge and call your Loftwing. It's almost time for the ceremony, so try to practice seriously for once. Hmm? Oh yeah? You can't sense your bird out there? Oh, I get it. You're trying to weasel out of having to practice. Nice try, but you're not fooling me. Off you go! Okay, Link, go ahead. Just press down on the d-pad and call your Loftwing. Oh yeah? He pressed down on the d-pad? Mm hmm. Hmm. His bird sure is taking a long time to get here. <laughs> Something's wrong. How did she know to grab at that time? Is it like a timing thing? Hang in there, Link. I've got you. I wonder how they got, like, well, I guess the, the, are you two all right? I'm sorry, friend. I didn't mean to push you so hard. You didn't spring your wing, did you? I wonder how they got an island in the sky. I guess the easy answer is, you know, it's a Zelda game, so it's like magic or something, but like, that's some crazy magic, you know. This is very odd, Link. What could have possibly happened to your Loftwing? For a bird to ignore the call of his master, it's unheard of. And you still can't sense your bird nearby, eh, Link? This is quite a problem, especially considering the wing ceremony is about to start. Link, when you said you couldn't sense your loft wing, well, I should have believed you. I'm sorry. I need to tend to my own loft wing, so I'll catch up with you later. You'd better go on ahead and see if you can find your bird, where your bird is gone. Oh. Ooh. My, how did it get to be so late? If I recall correctly, this year Instructor Horwell is presiding over the ceremony. Link, you should go explain the situation to him and see if he's willing to delay the race a little so that you can find your bird. <laughs> but, Father, you're the headmaster of the academy. 
If Link asks Instructor Horwell, he'll probably just come talk to you about it. Ah, uh, quite true. As usual, you make an excellent point, my dear. Very well. I'll explain the situation to him myself. Link, run along and tell Instructor Horwell to come see me in my quarters. Okay. Lots of exposition. Um. Okay. Go see if anyone in town knows what happened to my lock wing. All right, gotcha. Oh, weird. You can't like run and move the camera. Wait, does the camera? Okay. Well, they made it to where the camera like will move as you're turning and stuff. I was wondering because I couldn't turn the camera myself. Oh, my favorite NPC. Is something wrong? What's the big hurry? What? Your loft wing is missing. But I just saw Groose's bird was chasing off after your feathered fella. Where's Groose? Oh, Groose and his little cronies were saying they were headed down to the wing ceremony in the plaza. Oh, you still trying to get down to the south end? That X mark on your map, that's the plaza. It's where they're holding the wing ceremony today, so you'll definitely want to find it before too long. Okay. So, my guess is that they might be in the plaza. Normally, the fastest way there is just down this path, but this gate here still needs wor some work before you'll open. Can you go around through the academy? Remember to check the map with Minus if you get lost. Okay. Probably won't need that. Um, there's Horwell. What's wrong, Link? You're looking a little pale. What? Your loft wing is missing. How strange and troubling. Do you think you can find him? You're going to start looking for him now? How will you make it back in time to fly in the ceremony? It looks like your participation in the ceremony hinges on feather, or not that you can find that bird on time. Ahem, <clears throat> excuse me. I see. So the headmaster has summoned me. Alright then, I'll go speak with him immediately. I still owe you for helping me out earlier, so don't worry about the ceremony for now. You focus on finding your loft wing. Okay. Uh, guess I'll... Well, this door's open now, so I guess I'll go this way. We'll save real quick. Yes, sir. Who is this kid? Holy shit. Hold up, Link. Hey, hey, Link. Could you help me with something? All you have to do is dash and roll into this tree. Just like I've been doing. Dash, then when you're in front of the tree, bam! Do a roll right into it. So, come on, please. Alright, well, I'll dash in. I got you. Whoa, you did it! A sky stag beetle! Wait up! Well, might as well roll into this one too, shit. Skyloft Plaza. Yep, that's where we need to be by, Georgie. Um. Alright. You know, Gross, that sure was a pain, well, with all that scratching and pecking. Of course it was. You thought a big crim crimson loft wing like that was going to go down without a fight? But we got him, and I don't care how tough those birds are supposed to be. He's not getting out of that pen anytime soon, boys. <laughs> Whoa! Link, so, uh, yeah. Just how long you been standing there? What's your problem, anyway? Oh, wait. I got it. You're here to talk to about today's race. I can see it in those dopey eyes of yours. They're pleading. Oh, Groose, can you please find it in your heart to let me win today? Please? You're just desperate to win so you can get some alone time with Zelda up on the statue of the goddess. Goddess at the end of the ceremony. <laughs> well, sorry, pal. 
Groose doesn't do charity for wimps. My advice, work hard and wish with all your heart. You might even come in second. Ooh? Say, come to think of it, how come I don't see your bird? Where is that scruffy pile of red feathers? I can't imagine what could have happened to him. <laughs> do you think his tiny brain got confused by all the clouds and got lost? Nice hair. You lay off my dude right now, or I'll flatten you. Everyone knows I've got the slickest pompadour in town. You know, we're all getting tired of how you never let anyone forget you and Zelda go way back. You've been friends since you were kids. Big deal. It doesn't change the fact that you float through life with your head in the clouds. Would you wake up, straighten up, and grow a backbone already? Dopes like you were dragging our honored academy through the muck. And just who might you be talking about, Groose? Oh. Zelda. Hey. Uh, it's, uh... Don't even try, Groose. You're picking on Link again, aren't you? He's a student at the academy like all of us. No. Why do you insist on bullying him around so much? Yeah, I suppose. Mm -hmm. You suppose? Suppose what? I suppose you... <laughs> er... <laughs> Forget it. I wasn't supposing anything, okay? <laughs> okay, we're out of here, boys. Later, Link. Hope you find your bird, or else you're going to have to sit out today's race. That could be a major setback toward knighthood, so find that bird or get real used to the taste of failure. It's your special flavor. <laughs> what an asshole. I hate to say it, but I'm beginning to suspect that those blockheads had something to do with your Loftwing's disappearance, you don't say. Link, those guys aren't going to help us find your bird, so we'd better start searching. I'll fly around, around Skyloft and see if I can spot any trace of your bird. Father said he talked to Instructor Horwell about delaying the start of the wing ceremony, so don't worry. We'll find your bird in time. Okay. Alright, well. Speech bubble. What's wrong, Link? What? Your loft wing is missing? That's terrible. I was so looking forward to seeing that red blur streak through the sky. No, no, I haven't seen him. Hmm. Why don't you look for him by the statue of the goddess? You'll have a good view of the whole town from way up there. Yep. Can't miss it. I know. <laughs> Oh, man. Damn, 30 minutes and we've not haven't really been playing the game, just been talking. Oh, well, I'm sure, like, as soon as we get down on the... I guess mainland is the word I should use. It'll probably stop with all the exposition stuff. But, yeah crazy man <laughs> it makes me glad they cut down a lot of this stuff hey link over here I have some information about your loft wing come over here it's gonna be hard for me to remember all these voices man I'm not used to like reading stuff out loud like this so forgive me if I mix up some of the voices hey link I was just looking for you I heard your loft wing has gone missing, so I thought I'd join in on the search. And get this, when I asked Fledge what he knew, he started acting weird. Aww. I'm so sorry, Link. I really wanted to tell you, but if Groose found out I told you... It sounds like Groose forced him to keep quiet about it. Go on, tell him the truth. 
Just a little while ago, when I was cleaning the dining hall, Groose and his buddies came in. They didn't notice I was there and started talking about their plan to hide your loft wing. I wanted to warn you, Link, but just as I tried to sneak away, Groose and his gang grabbed me. They said that if I told you, they'd make sure I would never be able to ride a bird ever again. It sounds like Groose and his buddies had a plan to capture your bird and hide him near a waterfall. Well, near a waterfall would mean... Quick, let's take a look at your map. That's it, right there. I think it means the waterfall marked here with X. Yup. Forgive me, Link. I can't help being such a coward. I'm really sorry. Can I go in here yet? Okay. Very good, very good. Now, I have spoiled myself on, like, the intro of it, so... I mean, I know I just need to go back here. Get a sword. But I really want to, like, see if it would be worth buying this game or if I just do Twilight Princess HD. Practice sword got. Yup, yup. <clears throat> I guess I should do the practice thing. Learn the sword controls. Yes, yes, please. Yeah. Okay. Yep. I will. Yep, okay. So. Who? Alright. Doing that angle is a little bit weird. Alright, cool. That's right, Link. You really are a strong swordsman. Easy to teach, too. You make this instructor proud. Are you ready to try a spin attack? Sure. Great. Now I'm going to surround you with logs. Use a spin attack to cut them all without moving from that spot. Okay, bud. Left, right, and then left. Huh? Good one. That sure looked like it felt good. So, why don't you try a fatal blow to close our session? Alright, when your enemy is down, target it with ZL and throw yourself at it to land a fatal blow. Do a side slash on that log. When it's down, try finishing it off with this technique. Alright. Up, down, up. That's the way. Fatal Blow is also an effective move to use right after you've used your shield or well-placed spin attack to knock an enemy on its back. Oh, but monsters don't stay down for long, so you'll have to land that Fatal Blow quick before they get up. Alright, simple enough. Hey! Oh, I need a bud. What? Your loft wing is missing. You want to go look for it. Well, I guess I can make an exception just this once. But remember that Skyloft is a peaceful place, only not scary swords. So I don't want to see you swing it around like crazy out there. I don't want to get in a ton of trouble over this, so here's the deal. Make sure you get plenty of practice on these logs first, and once you get outside with that sword, only use it when you absolutely have to. Got it? Man, Duna's voice is, uh... I have to clear my throat, <laughs> is the point I'm trying to make. Wait, where is I going? Okay. Well, I just need to go around here then. What in the world? Oh, this ain't even the right way. Okay. I'm already pretty used to this whole camera thing. I just really wish I could do it while I'm sprinting. Because, I don't know, sprinting just feels weird. Yup, yup. The bird.
bird is indeed in there. I feel like I'm gonna do that a lot where I accidentally spin attack when I'm not meaning to. Yep, heart, yep. Standard Zelda stuff. And apparently I haven't gotten a green rupee yet. It's very weird not using like just a button to uh, swing my sword. Very much not used to that. Weird. Okay. Bug. Wait, how do I, how do I like do a jump attack though? I see. I want the bug. Can I not catch the bug? I guess I need like a bug net or something. Okay. I might have to use motion controls. I don't know. Something just feels weird about it, which I mean, fair enough, right? The game is built around motion controls. So it only makes sense. But I don't know. Movement and stuff just feels weird, you know? But then I have to use Joy-Cons and that sucks. I really despise Joy Cons. I don't know, I might just tough it out. I'll get used to it eventually, like super used to it. I wish there was a way to invert it though, so like I could just use right stick all the time and then I hold L for the sword motions. Hey! Link! Hey, Link. I was hoping I'd find you here. I heard you gone searching for your bird around the waterfall, so I thought I'd fly around and help you look. How's your search going? Any sign of your loft wing? <sighs> oh no. Well, let's not lose hope yet. There's a place up ahead that Groose and his gang are always hanging around. Maybe we'll find something there. Huh? Who who's that? Who's calling for me? Oh, sorry, Link. I got distracted for a moment. Let's go. Peculiar. Very peculiar. You know what? The only thing I do remember about playing this from my childhood is going in there and it just being pain. <clears throat> but child mush brain. So. Look, there he is. No doubt about it. That's your loft wing, Link. Alright. Oh, so cut the block. Nice. I also heard they changed the flying to be button control too, which is so nice. <clears throat> Had to clear my throat. I've been trying my best to mute my mic whenever I clear my throat and cough, but sometimes you just gotta do it, you know? We should hurry, Link. Now that your loft wing is free, you should fly to the ceremony. Yeah, problem. But before you go, I have to ask you something. I I heard this voice a few moments ago. Did you hear it too? 
It's been happening a lot lately. It's the strangest feeling. Almost like someone is calling out to me. Have you ever wondered what's beneath the clouds? Some say that it's an empty, barren place, or even that there's nothing at all down below. But I just have this feeling that they're wrong. Some of Father's old texts talk about a place called the surface. The old tales describe a whole world under there, far more vast than Skyloft. The thing is, no one's ever been down there to see it, and our loft wings won't fly through the cloud barrier. But I can't help imagining the wild things I might, that might be waiting below. Someday I want to see for myself. Oh, you will. Believe me. <laughs> oh, sorry, Link. We don't have time to talk. Let's get going. Look, your bird's waiting for you. Just sleep off the edge and press down on the D-pad. Don't worry about falling. Your bird will catch you for sure this time. Permanently scarred. He will never jump <laughs> off of anything again. Alright, let's see how, how it feels to fly and stuff. Oh yeah, that's way better. Yeah. <clears throat> Link, let's run your bird through the basics just to make sure he's not hurt. You go fly your bird in any direction. When it's headed upward, it'll slowly lose speed. When you want to speed up, direct your bird upward to gain altitude and then drop into a fast side. So again, gain some altitude, then dive to speed up. Those are the basis of getting your bird up to top speed. So how's he handling? Do you think he's flying alright? I see. Yeah. Seems pretty good. Feels weird. While riding your loft wing, you can press right on the D-pad any time to go over the basic controls again. Alright. You can also charge, which is an attack that gives you a burst of speed, as well as slow down when you need to. Yeah, got it. Alright, got it. Cool. <clears throat> well, that's a huge relief. I don't know about you, Link. But your loft wing looks like he's flying great. My father and the others are probably worried about your bird, so let's go get him the good news. All right. <laughs> your loft wing really is amazing, especially considering everything the poor guy has been through this morning. I'm going to fly back and tell father what happened. The goat. There he is. Well, well, if it isn't Link. Word around the plaza is that you found that dumb bird of yours. Well, that's just great. Because you and your dumb bird can't tell time. All the pre-race warm-ups me and the guys did were for nothing. Now I'm all stiff. We've been waiting forever for the race to start, and they delay it for you? I don't get it. The big flake gets special treatment. <laughs> You're almost a man, and yet you still can't seem to go anywhere without Zelda. I bet you can't even decide what to have for lunch on your own, huh? And don't think we haven't noticed the smug looks. Ooh, Zelda and I are best friends. We go everywhere together. Ugh. You think you're pretty suave, don't you? Well, don't you? Grace has been going on forever about how he's going to be the one to be with Zelda. He's really got his pompadour and a ruffle about her. <laughs> Dur her hurt. I hate to break it to you, but today's the day I bust up this adorable little fantasy land you're living in. Zelda's playing the role of the goddess at today's ceremony, and I'm going to be the one to claim that cell cloth. When I heard she made it herself, man, no way was I going to let some scrawny clown snatch that prize from me. Oh yes, that cell cloth, Zelda's cell cloth, will be mine. <laughs> oh man, I bet she was thinking about me when she was stitching it. 
Yep, I can see it now. First, I win the big race, and then Zona and I finish the ceremony together on the statue. Just the two of us. It'll be our special moment alone. Nobody is stopping me and Zelda from having our moment. Oh, it's so real, I can... I can see it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Bruce, Bruce, behind you. Right behind you. What? Can you two see I'm in the middle of... <gasps> Gah! Uh -huh. Care to explain just what you meant by our special moment alone? <laughs> I, uh, nothing big, really. Just, just... Link, yeah, I was just telling my buddy here how glad I was he found that red bird of his. Boy, am I looking forward to a fair race. One moment. Okay. Anyhow, later, Zelda. Look for me during the race. I'll be the one pulling off all the dangerous moves. Very good, very good. <gasps> hey, Bruce, wait up. Did you hear that guy? A fair race? Yeah, the chance of that happening are about, just about less than zero. Either way, don't let those fools get you down, Link. Just get out there and fly the best you can. I know you got those guys beat, and deep down, I think you do too. Yeah. That's the spirit, Link. Trust me, you can win this. Hey! The wing ceremony will now begin. Participating students, please assemble. Looks like it's race time. Good luck, Link. Alright. Hopefully I don't absolutely fumble with the controls. So like, are they just like shitting aggressively? Like, do they have colored <laughs> shit? Your attention, please. At last, we are ready to begin the wing ceremony. I was beginning to worry that we'd have to proceed without Link, but luckily that is no longer a concern. I'm glad that you could all make it. Before we start, I'll explain the rules for today's competition. I have attached a small statuette to this bird, who I will then release to the skies. On my signal, dash from the starting line and dive off the, the edge. Once you are in the air, mount your loft wing. Remember to call your bird promptly with the pad down once you dive off the edge. Whoever catches the bird and claims the statuette will be this year's champion. Those are the rules, simple enough, sh I should think. But do you need to hear them again? Oh my god, what am I doing? No. Excellent. As you well know, today's champion will graduate to the next class, bringing him one step closer to knighthood. You also received a gift from the young woman chosen to play the role of the goddess in this year's ritual. Today is a special day for many reasons, but it's also it is also the 25th anniversary of our fine institution. Oh yeah? To celebrate the occasion, today's champion shall also receive his gift high atop the statue of the goddess. I hear the young woman performing the role of the goddess this year has crafted the gift herself. And as you all well know, the role of the goddess this year will be performed by... <laughs> the lovely Zelda. <laughs> Let's see your finest flying out there. Show me just how hard you've been practicing. Also, I want to see good, clean flying... Anyone caught interfering with other riders will answer to me. That goes double for you, Groose. Hey. Alright, gentlemen, line up. At my command, the competition will begin. Hey. Go! Wow, they slow. I can do this. Oh my god. Bruh, come here. Please. Ugh. Wow, rude. I guess I need to. Yeah, I should probably go up. Damn, 
mid. Oh. No, dude. Uh. A? Okay, got it. Cool. Hey, don't you know this is my day to get all the glory? Rude. Yeah, you heard him. Let's see how you fly with egg on your face. So they just, like, mindlessly obey everything he says? Peculiar. So, like, are there birds also just, like, shitting these eggs out on demand? That's pretty cool. I wish my bird could shit out eggs on demand. Oh, please go up. Ugh, okay, fine. Trying to snap me with the shit. <laughs> Acquired. Very good, very good. <laughs> Link. <laughs> what the fuck? She's suicidal, bro. What the hell? That had to hurt the bird or something, right? Like, that, there's no way. Don't worry, I'm fine. <laughs> Great find, Link. Congratulations. Now we'd better get on with the ceremony. <clears throat> oh my god, I forgot to mute my mic. Forgive me, forgive me. I tried. I pressed the mute button and didn't mute. Link. Hand me that bird statuette you grabbed in the race. I must offer it to the goddess. It has been done. I love the sound of the art, man. It's one of the prettiest instruments. A very good choice for this game. Great goddess, guiding light and protector of our people, grant us your blessing and mercy as I act in your steed during this ceremony. Valiant youth who grasp victory at the celebration of the bird folk in accordance with the old ways, I now bestow the blessings of the goddess upon you. <laughs> the blessings of the goddess drift down from the heavens aloft a cell, which I now pass on to you. Cell cloth acquired. Link, quit goofing. This is supposed to be a sacred ritual, remember? So wait, that's canon that he does that shit? That's great. <laughs> you know, they say that the goddess gave the cell cloth to her chosen hero long ago. Of course, the one you're holding isn't the same one. I've been working hard to finish making this cell cloth in time to give it to today's champion. I'm really glad I got to give it to you, Link. Make sure you take good care of it, okay? All right. <laughs> Thanks for making it up here to do this with me today like you promised, Link. <laughs> now, we really should finish up this ritual. You do know what happens at the end, right? Nope. <laughs> Really? Huh. I thought you would have figured it out by now. <laughs> of course. You have to jump off the statue. 
Look down. See that big round design on the courtyard below? To finish the ceremony, you need to drop down right into the center of it. Leap off the edge here right before you hit the ground. Press ZR to open up your cell clock. Just how brave are you? If you were really fearless, you'd wait until the last second to use your cell clock. So, ready to jump? Oh, guess I am now. That was perfect. You're amazing, Link. <laughs> you know, Link, seeing as how you won today, and with the weather being so nice, you think maybe you'd like to, you know, go fly around the clouds together? Bro, Link is like so blind to this right now. It's crazy. <laughs> this is definitely some one-sided love right now. Link. Hey, Link. Today was amazing. Watching you win the race and performing the ritual together, I'll always remember this. It really was wonderful. <laughs> you know, Link, there's something I've been meaning to talk to you about. Uh, no. What is that? Oh, a tornado, obviously, yeah. <clears throat> they probably don't get tornadoes often above the clouds. So it makes sense. What's going on? Ah, Link! Bodied, holy shit. Luckily, Bird is there. Link? There she is. I am waiting for you. The time has come for you to awaken. You are, the, you are vital to a mission of great importance. Link. What in the world? You're awake. Oh. When your loft wing carried you back, you were limp and unconscious. I feared the worst. Fortunately, you don't appear to have any serious injuries. For that much, we can be grateful. <laughs> but, Link, where's Zelda? She was with you, was she not? What's happened to my daughter? Black tornado. You s so I do know what a tornado is. How the? Am I just like painfully ignorant? Do tornadoes, like tornadoes, don't happen when it's not cloudy, right? Am I just like super ignorant? I need to see. There's no way, right?
There's no way. Tornadoes can occur without funnel cuts. Wow. So I am just painfully ignorant. A black tornado, you say? Hmm. That was no ordinary storm. <laughs> Man. That must have been shitty to get a tornado on your tiny island. You must not push yourself. You're still recovering. Tell me, when you saw Zelda today, did anything about her seem... off? I see. She was talking about the surface then? And you've been having dreams about a great mission. How interesting. Ooh. I'm sorry. I was lost in thought there for a moment. It's all very strange, but I doubt there's much of a connection between those things. I'm concerned for Zelda, but so long as she's with her Loftwing, I'm sure she'll be fine. Either way, Daybreak is, has yet to arrive. It would be very difficult to spot one girl on her bird in the dark of night. It would also be very dangerous. Rest now, Link. Zelda's going to be fine. She's out there alive. I know it. I don't know what kind of voice I want to give. Uh, I might just, uh... I don't know. I'm probably just going to read it in my normal voice. Because if I do give her a voice, it's probably just going to be the same as Zelda's. That's cheating, bro. How are you going to go through walls? Saving? Oh, yeah, this game does autosave now, don't it? Forgot about that. Whoops. Holy shit. But what kind of pets are these that they like go ham like this whenever it's not time, you know? I see a chest. I'm going to open this chest. <clears throat> Red Ruby, pretty good. Keep forgetting I had to hold out. I know I said I got used to it, but truthfully, I have not, it would seem. Am I going to run out? Hold up. Let me get my stamina back. There we go. Alright. Cool. Holy shit. Steve. Ah. Holy shit, dude. What, what kind of fucking place to live is this, man? This is so cursed. No wonder the island doesn't have that many people, bro. They probably die, like, on the daily. Probably got oh, there. He has another one. Oh, there goes John. He'll be missed. Peculiar.
Good sword. The one chosen by my creator, I have been waiting for you. You will play a role in a great destiny. According to your social customs, I should provide you with my personal designation. Fai is the name I was given. I was created for a single purpose, long before the recorded memory of your people. I must aid you in fulfilling the great destiny that is your burden to carry. Come, Link. You must take up this sword. As the one chosen by my creator, it is your destiny. The strange dreams troubling your sleep, my sudden appearance, uncertainties surrounding the fate of the one you hold dear. Under the circumstances, it is only logical that you would exhibit some apprehension. To minimize your uncertainty, allow me to share some information. My projections indicate that this information has a high probability of altering your current emotional state. The one you seek, Honorable Zelda, is still alive. Very good. And this spirit maiden, the one you call Zelda, is another chosen one fated to be a part of the same great mission. Therefore, you should, should you wish to meet with your friend, I highly recommend you take up this sword before you set out to reach or set out to search for it. Does that information invigorate you? Are you ready to accept this sword? <laughs> yeah, it would seem so. It seems that further persuasive measures will not be required. Yeah, I'm sure. In the name of my creator, draw the sword and raise it skyward. Oh, that's actually... How is that going to happen? How is that going to work? <laughs> So, okay. So that's all I have to do is I just have to hold it up. <laughs> Got a sword acquired. Recognition complete, master. Link, my master. Link. Ooh. I've had my suspicions, but until now I wasn't sure. Yet here we are in the chamber of the sword, in the very place where it was foretold the youth of legend would one day appear. It is said that this place was left to our people by the goddess herself. The very knowledge of this room's existence is a secret passed down to a select few each generation, along with a handful of words. When the light of the goddess's sword shines bright, the, the great apocalypse will wake from its long slumber. Do not fear, for it is that, for it is then that a youth guided by my hand shall reveal himself in a place most sacred. It started days ago, the sword that I've kept secret all these years, it began to give off a faint, otherworldly light. At first, I was sure I was seeing things here alone with the sword. There was simply no other explanation. I never dreamed the prophecy of legend would come to pass in my lifetime. The words I have sworn to keep secret are coming true before my very eyes. Youth will be guided by one born of the blade, one who is also youthful in likeness, yet wise with knowledge immeasurable. Ah yes, the oral tradition, one of the least reliable methods of information retention and transmission. Yeah. It appears that critical sections of the passage have been lost over the generations. The youth who draws forth the guiding sword shall be known as the goddess's chosen hero. And it is he who possesses an unbreakable spirit. He shall be burdened with the task of abolishing the shadow of apocalypse from the land. 
such is his destiny. With the spirit of the blade at his side, he shall soar over the clouds and plummet below. And united with the spirit maiden, shall bring forth a piercing light that resurrects the land. <laughs> Some of Father's old texts talk about a place called the Surface. The old tales describe a whole world below, far more vast than Skyloft. Master, you must embark on a great journey beneath the clouds to the vast realm of the Surface. It is only through this journey that you can fulfill the mission set before you by my creator, the Goddess. It is also the only method available for you to reunite with the Spirit Maiden, Honor of Bozelda. This is no easy task, Link. The world below is a forsaken place, and to reach it you must pierce the cloud barrier below. In living memory, no one has ever done this. Does she not have arms, or is the cape just her arms? This tablet will illuminate a path through the clouds to the land below. Take it, and place it within the altar behind me. Emerald Tablet. Master, the first thing you must do is hit the crest setting in this room with a Skyward Strike. These blasts are formed of pure energy that charges within your blade when you lift it Skyward. Once you have charged your blade, face the crest and swing your sword to send out a powerful Skyward Strike. Okay. Cool, cool. I like the ways they keep reinventing like the sword beam from uh, the original Zelda, you know, like Zelda Zelda 1 and 2, you know, full health, you get that. Um, I think Wind Waker had one too. I might be wrong about that. Um, I know Link Between Worlds had one. It's just cool, man. I like the way they, they reinvent it. I don't think Twilight Princess had one, though, unfortunately. But that one was more, I guess, realistic-ish. Not a whole lot of magic stuff happening. Master Link, it is done. Until now, a cloud barrier created by the goddess has separated the world you know from the one below. The tablet you place in the altar has opened a small rift in the barrier. You can use it to travel through the clouds to the realm below. I have recognized you as my master, and so it is my duty to follow you wherever you may go. I reside within your sword and will accompany you in your travels. Press down on the d-pad to summon me whenever you require my assistance. Ooh. How? Link, listen a moment. The nature of the great apocalypse mentioned in the old text is a complete mystery to me. But whatever it turns out to be, it seems that both you and Zelda have big roles to play in the destiny of this land. Just think. If what this Fa says is true, Zelda is alive. Alive and no doubt coming to terms with whatever it is the goddess has in store with, for her. Should you heed the call of destiny, I don't know what dangers you may have to face, Link, especially down there. But if you decided to brave the unknown, please find my daughter and bring her back to me. What we've seen here today defies explanation, but it is only the start of your journey. Please see it through and prove the legend's true. Okay. You do your people proud, Link. Dawn is drawing near. It has been a long night for both of us, hasn't it? You have a great journey before you, Link, and those clothes, they don't look up to the task. The uniform you were to receive for winning the race should be ready by now. A sturdy uniform like that will prove much more suitable for a long journey. You'd better change before you go. <laughs> okay. I also like the way they, um, 
they always give a backstory to the the green tunic you know ocarina of time that's just the kakiri force like uniform i guess twilight princess how did how did he get in twilight princess it was like given to him by the goddess and in this game it's the knight uniform in wind waker he gets it, it like it's passed down pretty cool that green uniform is what our knights will be wearing this year to be honest, I've had my doubts about the color, but oddly enough, seeing you wear this uniform, I can't imagine a more fitting color for you. I wonder why. It's as though you were born to wear it. Yeah? Green man. Take care on your journey, and be sure to stop by some of the shops at the bazaar here in town to equip yourself properly for the travels ahead. I will return to my quarters and see if I can glean more useful information from the ancient texts. You are always welcome to stop by if you have questions. You and Zelda shall be in my prayers. May the goddess watch over and guide you both. <laughs> Alright. Well, I guess we'll go to the shop then, shit. Hey. Link. That green uniform looks so adventurous. You sure look like a knight now. The headmaster said you're heading out to look for Zelda. You're really something else. I can never imagine myself doing what you're about to do. I put a lot of work into making this. You should take it with you. Okay. These are all kinds of useful. You know, this just looks like a double pocket armor mod from Seven Days. Pog. It's an adventure pouch. It's for, well, adventures. It's neat because you can fit four things in it that you'll need for on your big journey. You could buy all kinds of stuff at the bazaar that you could put in this pouch. You should go look. <laughs> you could buy some potions and a shield. They fit in the pouch and they might come in handy on an adventure. I could fit a shield in that tiny ass pouch, huh? Impressive technology. Link, I just know you'll find Zelda for us. Very impressive technology. Okay. Ah, uh, you need to talk to me, huh? Whoa. I heard the news, Link. Zelda's fallen down through the clouds, and you're going to look after her. Is that right? The headmaster told me there's land beneath the clouds. Do you know anything about that? So that's the famous sword. Ah, uh, but it won't do you much good if you don't have a shield to protect yourself with. Here, take this with you. Oh, sick. He's got a free shield. Huh. The wooden shield is light and maneuverable, but it's the weakest of all the shields. Also, keep in mind that it's particularly vulnerable to fire. If it breaks, you can buy a new one at the bazaar. To whip a shield, hold R, select the shield you want to use, and let go of R. If you're not sure how to use a shield, Knight Commander Aegis at the Sparring Hall will happily teach you. Alright. Simple enough. So how, how do I, like, actually shield? Ah, left, left stick. Okay, gotcha. Master, I have an update regarding the stone tablet and the resulting column of light. The column of light has appeared to the South Fair location, and signs indicate that it has created an opening in the cloud barrier to the land below. Oh, I accidentally skipped some. If you had not already done so, yeah, yeah, gotcha. I'm not gonna buy no potions or nothing, because... You start with six hearts, so, you know. Not really the hardest game in the world. What you got? Mm, nothing. What about you? What you got? Hey, welcome to the scrap shop. I could use the stuff you find to upgrade your gear and make it even stronger. And if your shelf takes a beating, no worries. I can fix that too. So, what will it be? Can I even upgrade anything? Oh? Oh? Oh, I don't have anything. Okay, so that's what all that stuff is for. Yeah, 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 okay. Gotcha. <clears throat> cool, cool. 
Hello and welcome to the item check. Want to put stuff from your couch into storage? Okay. Want to take something out of storage? That's fine. So is there anything in your pouch and storage that you want to move? No. Holy shit. This is definitely the, the beginning of the ma happy mass salesman, dude. There's no way. Here's the potions. Yep, okay. Potion shot. Uh, yep. I do not have an empty bottle. Oh, I just get one. Nice. If you ever get to the point where you can't fit any more stuff in your pouch, you can always drop off. Yep. What would you like to buy? How much is this? Oh. What? Bruh. What about this? That's pretty cool. Uh. What's this one? Mm. 200. What a scam. Um. Alright, whatever. I don't need no potions. I'm built different. Alright. Oh, weird. That looked really weird on that fence. It was like, um... The anti aliasing was all messed up for it. Very strange. What you want? Yep. Okay. Pretty much what I was going to do. I almost like just looked away from the screen, dude. Holy shit. I thought that was going to be a whole cutscene. Master Link, we've arrived. This is the fabled surface that has been long been part of Skyloft legend. By my calculations, you are currently positioned in a location known as the Sealed Grounds. I remember the monster there just being, like, specifically the second time you fought him, just being an absolute pain in the ass to fight. Please proceed with caution, Master. Okay. Oh, please. My reactions are not there right now. Okay. Oh, I can just hold it out. Okay, so there's a parry, and then there's just... You can block shit. Let's see. Oh, do I gotta fight this dude right off the rip? <laughs> I 
<laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> I couldn't even draw the sword. Shake my head. That shit demonic. Jesus. Oh, okay, you hold it. Gotcha. Young one. Child of destiny descended from the sky. <clears throat> Raise the sword of the goddess Skyward. Take aim at the evil aura and unleash its power. Okay. Master Link, I'm sensing a change in the area that was triggered by your Skyward Strike. I've also detected an aura that correlates closely to your cell cloth. I surmise this aura belongs to Zelda. I can lead you in the direction of this aura through a process known as dowsing. You'd like me to explain this process? Okay. As you wish, dowsing is when I detect the presence of the aura of something you wish to search for using the tips of your sword. Vibration and sound. The direction of the object in Minara is indicated by the purple pointer you see. Ah. <clears throat> okay. Well, I probably won't need to do that because I assume she's just like up here, right? Okay, I think this is a pretty good spot to leave off on, because I need to take a piss anyway, so <coughs> I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. Uh, next episode, though, I think uh, <sighs> we should be able to get to the first dungeon, I do believe, and beat it, so look forward to that. If you liked the video, be sure to like, comment, and if you really liked it, please subscribe. I appreciate it. Um, but yeah, see ya. <laughs>